Art Cook, longtime community spokesman and ranch manager during the 1980s at the new town of Highlands Ranch, died recently here on May 19, 2021, in Mission Viejo, California. Here are some memories of art. We heard there might have been a grass fire under the parked cars that were allowed onto the property. Right. Tell me about that. A uh, art cook and I were surveying the property. We had everybody settled in, I believe, for lunch. And we were looking and somebody's catalytic converter. I was very dry, had started the, the meadow in the front, in front of the mansion on, you could just see a little bit of smoke. And Art reacted like gangbusters. And there was, they had all the fire, the water trucks, and they were well prepared. I, I don't know whether they had, the movie company had done that or whether Mission Viejo had done that. I suspect it was the latter, or a combination, a cooperative. That fire was out in such a big hurry, that, and the cars moved with the greatest dispatch in the whole wide world. You, if you blinked, you might have missed it. So, But it was a great, the, Art was his usual, very cool self. We can handle this, got it under control. <laughs> it could have been a disaster. Jim Tepper was the project manager for Mission Viejo, Colorado, starting in the late 1970s. And about that time or soon after, he hired Art Cook to come out from California, where he'd worked for the Mission Viejo property there. Uh, I think I did mention to you when I hired Art Cook, brought him, not hired him, but brought him over from California. And I needed somebody badly that I, you know, and I said, Art, Come on over, you're going to be in charge of community relations and you're going to be in charge of uh, uh, personnel and uh, office services. And uh, we've been here about, he'd been over there about a week and I said, Art, where are the desks? I forgot it, Jim. He said, Jim, I don't like being in personnel and office services. What do you want to do? I just want to be out on the ranch. I said, okay get out there and stay out there, but he became our ranch manager and took care of all the ranching operations. And Because uh, Phil had come over and, and talked with me, and how are things going? And naturally everything was going beautifully. And uh, so we're sitting there talking, he said, I want to talk about ranch operations, get Cook over here. So I got Art. And Art said, he says, Art, how are things going? He said, beautiful. Just made a sale, we did this, with this, with this, with this and making money and uh, uh, one of the things our, uh, Phil that we did we just bought a big cutter a big new cutter and it'll make our when we create wheat or the haystacks it makes them into the round big round things he said well that's great art but those are big equipment and they're expensive it, how do you get the big things where you want to carry? Well, we bought a truck. I said, well, where did you get the money from the truck? And I'm sitting there sheepish, but I don't know what he, and Art just kind of did his thing. He didn't do that afterwards, but it was, uh, Art was, uh, and you must ask him that when you interview him. Did you have latitudes you weren't given? To, you know, you, did you spend money you shouldn't have spent? Art, did you? Not me. We did an oral history with the Historical Society with Art a few years ago when he was in town. And here are some clips from that that I think you'll find interesting. Yeah, by Mission Viejo Company. How did you come to become to Highlands Range in Colorado. Well, uh, I got this call from Jim Teffer, <laughs> and he it was in February, and he says, "Hi, Art." And I says, "Hi, Jim." 
and he says, I'd like you to come to Colorado. Well, you know, I'd been there, as I just mentioned, for the uh, activity program. I thought, oh, good, I'm going to get to do another little trip over there and have fun putting on some kind of a program. And, uh, of course, by that time, he had been here a year because they had done the development plan for Highlands Ranch. They bought the ranch and they spent a fantastic year with his planners going over the uh, development plan. They finished it and uh, they were excited about it. And he called me and said, I want you to come over to Colorado. Well, sure, Jim, when? I was thinking again for another weekend type thing, maybe. And I said, sure, well, uh, what, what, do you want? what do we need? No, I want you to move over here. Oh my, okay, uh, let me think about that. For, for how long is that thing? And I said, oh, well, okay. I said, let me talk to Pat and everything and make sure that I'm uh, making my, uh, what am I gonna do over there? Well, you've got to, we need somebody over here that's not shy, who will uh, be able to talk, to, we're introducing a program now, the development plan through the numerous jurisdictions. It's going to go through the county, through state agencies, through districts and everything like that. And we also need, we've got the planners that do that. But we need someone to talk to folks who are just interested in the community, interested in what's going to happen. Because once it hits the jurisdictions, then it goes public and people are going to say, what in the world are you going to do? You know, don't Californicate Colorado was the way that they wanted to make sure it didn't happen. So they wanted someone to come over to take the exhibits, the develop, pre-development plan, and describe what was going to happen on, on this fantastic property of Highlands Ranch. What we did is, but, you know, let's start communicating with the residents. These are the folks that are going to make the success of this community. So four of us dressed up for Thanksgiving. The three of them as pilgrims, and of course, me is the turkey. <laughs> and we distributed, I think, was 35 turkeys to the new families that were living in Highlands Ranch. Just as a welcome to them as the initial residents. Thank you, and we hope you're going to have a wonderful time. Yeah. And then after Thanksgiving came other family-type holidays, and how did Mission then well, know, incorporate we, the residents? We really wanted to, you know, the success, I believe, was communicating and getting the residents involved in activities. You could publicize this new town of Highlands Ranch in the newspapers or on the radio ad or sign boards or things like that. But the best way I found, and I believe in, was through the residents. The residents will come if they enjoy the community, if they enjoy the activities, they go back to work the next day, they go to the bridge club, they go to their activities, their schools, and they talk about the activity that they did that weekend. What they did, who their friends were, what they're meeting, what's going on. That was the basic success for getting Highlands Ranch on the map, getting them known to what's happening in the community. Well, what we did then was extended that first little activity that I just related about uh, Thanksgiving, and we were going to establish an activities committee of the residents, the HRAC, Highlands Ranch Activities Committee. And they would be the residents themselves planning their events and carrying them out. So we got notification to all the new residents, said we're going to have a meeting of the residents and talk about what we're going to do as fun times here in this new town. And uh, what was that was the introduction to Highlands Ranch Activities Committee. And right away comes the first holiday event, which was Christmas time. And so we did, I patterned it after California because it was successful there. I said, let's have Santa's arrival. And all the kids come down and greet Santa and talk to Santa and make their wishes known. And we had Santa located. I called back to California, I said, folks, send me a picture of Santa's workshop. Uh, the red and white Santa's workshop with the white picket fences along it and everything. We're going to have a Santa and we're going to have him come in and talk to the kids. 
And they sent the picture. I sent it right over to a little construction group. People said, please get this made so we can have it by the middle of December. And that weekend in the middle. And we're, they said, well, okay, we'll do it. And we had a publication. I forget what it was. It wasn't the Highlands Ranch Herald yet, I don't believe, at that time, which was our normal eventual community information document. But we got information flyers of some type to everybody in the community. And we would uh, get them to get the kids to distribute them with their parents. And uh, they then came down to there on Broadway, uh, just uh, which is south of 470 and Dad Clark Drive and that place. And uh, it was just on the mountainside there, that little where the Mama Wobble Homes turnout is, I believe, today. Uh, I've been gone 27 years, so sometimes my memory is. <laughs> but uh, it's, it, they put up this workshop and the picket fences and some decorated trees and, and uh, invited them all to come down to see Santa. In addition to being the ranch manager, which had its more serious side in terms of the cow-calf operation, Art was the life of the party and generally was the community spokesman and lots of different events. So if there was a party, Art was probably there front and center. He had a great reputation of being a excellent public speaker as well. And so we I said, let's invite the residents to come out and witness the uh, doctoring of the calves the branding of the calves, the brass. Mm -hmm. And so, how are you going to do that? Oh, I can get care of that. So I did it. And, uh, of course, I mentioned we had the same large animal veterinarian there that helped me out there and taught me all the mm. knows and hows. Good ranch crew, three ranch hands, and myself. And what we did is we invited the residents to come out to the ranch, just two miles down the road from them. Now it's in the middle of the community. And we had big corrals. We had five barns there, uh, big seven corrals extended out. And we brought in the remaining calves, about 100 calves left uh, that we had left, the tail enders. And we brought them into the corrals. And I invi we invited the, a lot of the local ranch hands from surrounding ranches. Good PR, you know, because mm -hmm. they like to show what they do to people. How does ranches having this thing? Let's go up and help them. And, show, and they got in their horses and they all came in. And so we must have had uh, 15 hands there on horses and on the back. And they helped us with the brand. So we had all the calves down at one end. And bleachers set up on one side of the mm -hmm. corral where the people all sat up there and came down and witnessed the first doctoring of calves, which included mm -hmm. branding. We had the Bar HR. It was Highlands Ranch. The Bar HR was our brand. Mm -hmm. And so we doctored them, and we gave them their initial shots. And, of course, included in that activity was the castration of the male calf. Mm -hmm. Quite a learning experience. Is there anything you would have changed, anything that you wished you had done? Or... Let's do another community. <laughs> uh, yeah, but those are the days. I can say I've had the days. I've had my wonderful times. And again, I feel so fortunate for having and had that opportunity. Nothing you would change. I don't think I change. I see today when I came over here now, I we're in a new part of the north west eastern part of what was Highlands Ranch. At least this area was all pasture. I remember we're chasing cattle from the northeast corner up there on County Line Road and Quebec. And Quebec, yes. From that very corner, fence post all the way across to Colorado Boulevard, and then crossing Colorado Boulevard to get them in, going back to the barn facilities. Now we did a lot of the cattle over here in the East Ranch, the Cheese Ranch areas, and those we did over here. But uh, those morning rides, I didn't have a dog, of course, but with, with, like the other three ranch hands, they had their dogs, those dogs, you've heard of sheep dogs too, and how they are, these, Dogs were, knew exactly how to get cattle, and if they'd see one of the herds going out, they'd run over there and nip at its heel and back. I tried to do that with some of the residents one in a while, get them back in order, but they were so wonderful. And it's so then last night, as I mentioned, talking to them, to see folks come up and say, hello, Art, and just, now there were times I missed a name, and I'd have to look at that name tag. Fortunately for name tags nowadays, 
that it is so great to see these people and to come out and shake their hands again. And I just, I want to come back, you know, do something else again. If you ask what you want to do. But uh, I've been blessed. Wonderful. Not only with a fa wonderful family, wonderful job opportunities all the way through from the college days where I met my wife through the Navy and had fun times, best, best opportunities there. I mentioned I was a Supply Corps officer and I had supply duty on board ship, got to the Orient, Japan and the Philippines and came back, stopped at Honolulu on the way back in Hawaii and got to see that and came back. Uh, we now are fortunate to be able to go and to once in the spring every year for a week back to Hawaii and enjoy Honolulu areas. And, and uh, then to continue on with our life the way it's been, right on the way, all the way through, and still be invited back to share memories with folks is just my pleasure. I thank you very, very, very much. Well, we can't thank you enough. This has been a real pleasure for, I know, the residents of Highlands Ranch, for all of us, to have <laughs> you come here on your own yeah. and share your, your memories with us and your experience and to bring Highlands Ranch really alive in our minds of what it used to be. Very good, very good. Because it goes through my minds very often. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Thank you, Art. Art came out a few years ago to speak at the Historical Society meeting about ranching at the mansion. <clears throat> All of a sudden, during the middle of this presentation, this is what happened. Gosh, I'm looking out over the mountains and the red sky that I remembered 30 years ago. Sunsets in Colorado. It's simply amazing. Uh, I love Colorado. I love coming back to Colorado. But I'm now, of course, I've lived after 29 years in Mission Viejo, but I love coming back to Colorado to see things like that. Our cook had a very large and important part in the early years of Highlands Ranch. Art gave an oral history interview with Mission Viejo in 2012, and in the ending comments of that interview, Art summed up his memories of his years with Mission by saying this. I, I, what memories, what great memories, what great opportunities, pleasure. Mm -hmm. Let me say before, I, I don't remember, I tell people I don't remember going to work, I went to play. <laughs> That was my mantra. Well, gosh, it was great. Thank I got you. to know so many neat people.